Howdy, I'm Alligator Ron Bergeron, and we're at Green Glades West in the Big Cypress in the beautiful Everglades. And today we're gonna to be talking about Western Everglades Restoration Warp. And as we proceed forward with Everglades Restoration, the largest environmental restoration in the history of the world, we need to make sure that the quantity and the quality and the timing and distribution of water in God's creation is done correctly. We're standing here today in a proposed STA. An STA is a stormwater treatment area which cleans water before it enters the environment and very important. But as we proceed forward, it's important that we do not build an STA in a natural environment. It's important that we build that in an altered environment, a cow pasture, an orange grove, or a cane field. So as we proceed forward with Western Everglades Restoration Warp, we need to all work together to make sure that we don't destroy what we're trying to save. We're in the Kissimmee Billy Strand where the proposed STA, and I'm standing beside century old trees. This is the breeding ground for the panther and a corridor to the Caloosahatchee. And we also have the beautiful Florida black bear. And we have all of our endangered species that live here, like the gopher tortoise, which is an upland species, and the fox squirrel all live in this beautiful environment created by God. And once we destroy it, we can never rebuild what God created. When you think about the Everglades, most people see the river of grass, which is a different habitat. Ridge and sloughs that flow for hundreds of miles, 95% wetlands and 5% uplands. But when you get into the big cypress portion of the Everglades, it's 50% uplands, pine islands and oak heads, and 50% wetlands. So it's important that the quantity of water and the quality of water is perfect. Now I've been in this swamp for over 75 years, and in October, at the end of the rainy season, I've always seen this high water mark nine out of every 10 years. So we need to be very careful on introducing foreign water in quantities greater than natural. It's a balance for the Seminole Reservation and for the Miccosukees and for the private property owners and for the Big Cypress Preserve. So it's all about we together and making sure as we go forward, we do not destroy God's creation, the greatest engineer in the world for future generations.